Have you ever noticed this effect on somebody's art? The red and blue split or whatsoever you wanted to call it, sometimes it's a lot and sometimes it's so subtle. Sakimi-chan also uses this before and it's pretty popular as some artists uses this as a finishing touch to their artwork. That also includes me sometimes. The effect is also being used in games such as Valheim, Phasmophobia to add more aesthetics to the visuals. Or sometimes they add this effect when your character is about to die like on raft. But how can you add this effect to your artwork and what could be the name of this effect? You can actually do this easily in Photoshop and Clip Studio Paint. This effect is called Chromatic Aberration, or sometimes they call it Anaglyph. They also use this in Stereoscopic 3D, but we're not here for that. I actually made a tutorial about this in the past, but the video has a minor correction to it, though the effect works similarly. So how does the effect works? Basically, you're just gonna separate the red channel and blue channel and overlay them on top of your artwork. The visible light spectrum is a rainbow, hence RGB lights. The computer displaying RGB lights in the store tells you that that computer is capable of displaying any sort of color you like. I'm telling you this because monitor displays are lights. Since we are digital artists, our work contains RGB channels, or a mixture if that would be easier to understand. So MYK is for pigments, while RGB is for lights. Our works look like this when separated to RGB, and we'll see the real color when combined. So our goal here is to extract the red channel and blue channel, and overlay it on the top as our effect. So this is how you do it. While in Photoshop this is very easy, all you need to do is just turn off the other channels. First and foremost, make a duplicate of the entire art, and it should be flattened. Double click the layer, and you'll find the channels right about here. If you want to keep the red, just uncheck the green and the blue. As you can see, nothing happens just yet until you move the layer. Then do the same on blue channel. Just duplicate the same layer and just uncheck the red and green channel. And you now have the blue and you're done. Sometimes I erase the middle just to keep the effects on the sides so that the focal point doesn't look blur. In Clip Studio Paint, you need to extract the channels manually by using level correction. First, do the same as what you did in Photoshop, create a flattened layer of the entire art. Make sure to create two duplicates since we're gonna use it, one for the red and one for the blue. Go to menu and drop down the edit. Go to tonal correction, then select the level correction. In level correction panel, drop down the RGB and select the channel you want it to turn off. For this example, I needed the red to be extracted, so I should turn off the green and blue. So select either the green or the blue. In the output portion, slide that farthest right arrow to the left. That means you're turning the color to black. In light, black is equal to none, or basically turning the lights off. After I turned off the green and blue, it only leaves the red. Now you'll notice that the artwork just turns into red and black. Now what you're gonna do to this layer is change the blending modes to lighten, telling the program that this layer is a form of light. Now you can no longer see the red artwork until you move it around. Now you already have the red effect. Now repeat all of those actions, but this time leave the blue. And you're done! And that's it for today's video, thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe. Oh, before I'm going to end this video, make sure to watch the full time-lapse process of this Rebecca art.